His story has been told in newspapers, in magazines, and in the book and TV movie Fighting Back. To all who know of his unique accomplishments, Rocky Blyer is both a legend and an inspiration. He wasn't the biggest or the fastest man to ever play the game. But he did have that certain something that allows one man to succeed when others think he can't. Some call it courage. Others, determination. And measured in those terms, Rocky Blyer will always be a giant of a man. But those qualities can't be captured by the stopwatch or measuring tape. So it wasn't until the end of the 1968 college draft that the then lowly Pittsburgh Steelers decided to take a chance on the little running back out of Notre Dame. But there was to be more than one draft for Rocky. And after only a single season in the pros, Rocky found himself carrying a grenade launcher through the rice paddies of Vietnam. It was on August 20th, 1969, in the steam and heat of the jungle, that Rocky's dream of a professional football career all but vanished. An enemy grenade exploded savagely at his feet, ripping and tearing the muscle and tendon of his leg and foot. Later, as Rocky was lying in a hospital bed in Tokyo, the doctors told him his injuries were so severe that he'd be lucky if he ever walked normally. But Rocky felt differently. He understood what the doctors were saying, but he didn't accept it. He still wanted to become the very best professional football player he could. So Rocky came home, hobbled, and on crutches. He began the long, slow process of rebuilding his torn and injured body. Every morning at 5 a.m., Rocky was on the track, and every evening, he was pumping iron. It was a hard and thankless process, and it took four long and sometimes lonely years. But his work paid off. Rocky Blyer became a starting running back for the team destined to bring a Super Bowl trophy to Pittsburgh for the first time ever. The spirit of the man had prevailed. He'd done what many thought couldn't be done. He'd forced himself to become faster and stronger than ever before in his life. Rocky had discovered that in order to achieve a goal of personal excellence, he must first ask the question, how good can I be? Finding the answer to that question isn't easy, but the reward, the feeling of achievement, is worth it. What Rocky learned, we all can learn. Rocky Blyer. His name may not be etched forever in the record books, but his story will always be told whenever the subject of personal achievement is discussed. Rocky proved that if you're willing to reach beyond what you know you can do, then you can achieve almost anything. This film is about that kind of achievement and what it takes to be the best you can be.